Once upon a time in a far off land there lived a mighty demon named Dambodbhava. He was on a mission to become immortal and thought that the sun god Surya was the only one who could grant him this wish. So he began to pray to Surya with all his might. After many years of penance, Surya was finally pleased with Dambodbhava's devotion and appeared before him. Excited to receive his boon, he boldly asked Surya to make him immortal. However, Surya explained that it was impossible since everyone and everything that is born on this planet must eventually die. Disappointed, Dambodbhava thought of a cunning plan to trick Surya into granting him a boon. He asked Surya to protect him with a thousand armor that could only be broken by someone who had performed penance for a thousand years. But there was a catch. Whoever broke the armor would have to die immediately. The fate of the world hung in the balance as the Asura Dambodbhava performed a powerful penance seeking immortality from Surya, the sun god. But when Dambodbhava made a cunning request that would make him invincible, Surya was forced to grant his boon. Even though he knew deep down that the demon would misuse his newfound powers of evil. Terrified of what was to come, Surya sought the help of Lord Vishnu, who promised to rid the world of this adhar. Dambodbhava wasted no time in unleashing his newfound powers to the innocent people, creating a region of terror. His invincible armor made him the ultimate threat to everyone, leaving them trembling in fear. People started calling him Sahastra Kavach, meaning the one with a thousand armors. Meanwhile, King Daksha saw an opportunity to put an end to this menace by marrying of his daughter Murti to Dharma, one of the Manasputra of Lord Brahma, the god of creation. Murti, the daughter of King Daksha, couldn't bear to see people suffer at the hands of Sahasra Kavach. With a heart full of devotion, she prayed to Lord Vishnu to save them all. Moved by her sincerity, Lord Vishnu appeared before her and said, Your devotion has pleased me, and I shall come to slay Sahasra Kavach. You shall be the reason for his downfall. In the tranquil surroundings of ashram nestled the midst of lush forests, Murti gave birth to not one but two babies, twins Narayana and Nar. From a young age, the brothers showed an unwavering devotion to Lord Shiva and dedicated themselves to the art of warfare. They were a dynamic duo with a bond that surpassed that of any ordinary siblings. Their mind seems to be connected as they seamlessly complemented each other's thoughts and actions. Trust was never a question between them. It was an unspoken truth. The tranquility of the forest surrounded Badrinath was shattered as Sahasra Kavach launched vicious attacks terrorizing the area. It was during one of these attacks that Narayana and Nar, the twin brothers who had grown up in the ashram nearby, were confronted with a menacing figure. While Nar was deep in meditation, Narayana stepped forward to take on the fearsome Sahasra Kavach in a fierce battle of wills. As they faced each other, the mighty Sahasra Kavach found himself unnerved by the unwavering gaze of Narayana. For the first time since receiving his powerful boon, the battle between Narayana and Sahasra Kavach was intense with each one unleashing their full might upon the other. Sahasra Kavach was caught off guard by Narayan's incredible power and skill which had been granted to him by nurse penance. However, as one of the Sahasra Kavach armors shattered, he saw an opportunity to strike back. With a cruel smirk, he watched as Narayan fell to the ground, lifeless. But little did Sahasra Kavach know that Nar and Narayan were not two separate individuals, but rather two halves of the same soul. 
Would this revelation be enough to turn the tide of the battle? Let's find out. As the battle raged on, Narayan fell to the ground, lifeless. But Nar, fueled by years of intense penance and devotion of Lord Shiva, possessed the Mahamrityunje Mantra, a powerful spell capable of reviving the dead. Using this mantra, Nar brought his fallen brother back to life and took up the fight against Rahasrakavaj himself. While Narayan meditated to regain his strength, the fierce battle continued for centuries as the brothers managed to bring down one armor after another until 999 armors were destroyed. In a desperate attempt to save himself, Sahasrakavaj sought refuge with Surya, the sun god. But Nar's curse ensured that Surya would have to bear the burden of being reborn as a human for protecting Sahasrakavaj. At the end of Treta Yug, a legendary battle took place that would shape the course of history. When Surya refused to hand over Sahasrakavaj, a powerful armor that made its wearer invincible, the age came to an end and the Dwapar Yug began. But the story didn't end there. Narayana and Nar, who had once battled Sahasrakavaj in a previous life, were reborn as none other than the great warrior Arjun and the divine avatar Krishna. However, due to a curse, Surya's Ansh, or essence, was reborn as Karn, the eldest son of Kunti. Karn was born with one remaining armor from Shahastra Kavach, making him nearly invulnerable. But with the help of Indra, Arjun's father procured the armor before the final battle. In the epic Mahabharat, Karn's life was a tale of contrasting fortune. A man cursed by his past, yet blessed by the sun god himself. He carried the weight of his previous life's sin, which forced him to stand by Duryodhan, a man known for his evil ways. But Karn, bravery, strength and selflessness came from the divine Surya within him. Despite his struggles, Karn became renowned for his charitable nature, earning him a place in history as a hero and with an enigmatic past. The stories and legends surrounding Narayan, Nar and Karn are rich with symbolism and lessons. One overarching theme is the idea that our actions have consequences both in this life and the next. Karn in particular is an example of how our past actions, whether good or bad, can shape our current circumstances. However, the story also emphasizes the power of inner strength and the importance of maintaining one's integrity and values, even in the face of difficult circumstances. Ultimately, these stories remind us to strive for righteousness and to remain steadfast in our pursuit of virtue, no matter the challenges we face. I really appreciate you all tuning in to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe for more content like this in the future.